Well, hello again. Welcome to my office on this Thursday, April 1st. We've now turned the corner on March as we're moving forward during this springtime. Uh, doesn't look too springy out there this morning, but uh, the flowers are beginning to bloom. Uh, April 1st. Today would have been my mom's 84th birthday, and just a little bit later on, our family is gathering around uh, her uh, her graveside, kind of a a grave plaque unveiling, I guess, as it were, where, where we will pay some respects. Um, uh, the scripture passage that my father chose uh, to place on the on the grave, I thought, was very appropriate. It comes from the book of Job, where it says. I know that my Redeemer liveth. And I thought, how appropriate, um, especially during now this coming Easter weekend, uh, where we, even in spite of the difficulties that we've been through in the last year, where there's been so much talk about sickness and about health and about COVID, that we as believers know that our Redeemer is alive. It is the hallmark of our faith. It is the central tenet of what we believe, and it is the hope that we have that this world does not know. And so, I simply want to wish you uh, today and for the weekend that is in front of us a very blessed Easter. May we remember the death of our Lord on that cross so many years ago which was an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Um, If you do not know the Lord Jesus and you do not know that forgiveness that he offered, I present him to you. Where this world has no hope, we, we do have a hope. We have a hope in the one who has carried our sins on that cross so many years ago. But it's beyond the cross that we have our hope, for we know that three days later he rose again. And our Redeemer is not in a grave. Our Savior is not dead. He is very much alive. And it is that that we celebrate today. It is that fact that will, uh, and that gives us hope as we will stand around my mom's grave a little bit later on today, knowing that because he lives, she too has life. And we too will one day live and we will see one another again. And so again, May you have a very blessed Easter. May you know the joy, uh, the hope of the life that only Jesus can give. For we worship a risen Savior. God bless you.